What's going on YouTube? King Dennis here with a final garden update. Not much going on here. You can see my plants didn't do too well. That's that naranjilla. Um, my Swiss shard. Uh, but not much going on in the garden, everyone. Everything here is pretty much dead. Um, the one I do want to focus mainly on is the Jerusalem artichokes. Uh, and I sowed these about March or April in pots and then I went ahead and transferred these plants into the dirt so um, don't know usually when you're supposed to harvest it but I went ahead and did um, did some of the pruning already of some of these dead foliage uh, and I pulled the plant and this is what I get um, I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know how to process this and what I'm supposed to do but I get these awesome looking rhizomes and these are supposed to taste kind of like potatoes you can see it really wasn't that deep of a plant and I really wish I would have put it in softer soil but um, it's the only place I can go ahead and uh, bury these guys and so I will go ahead and communicate with um, my garden friend Kay over at Late Bloomers uh, channel and see how I'm supposed to cure these guys, take care of them, and the best and most delicious way to process them. Um, again, not much going on in this garden. My white eggplants are pretty much done. These guys came out more oval and round you see this is way overripe um just got decimated with uh the aerophyte mites again um this guy I trimmed and you can see new growth trying to come out this is my healthier looking that i'm here um lots of rusting that's the aerophyte mites and also the regular spider mites um i went ahead and pumped some uh, these guys with phosphorus, so hopefully, NPK. Hopefully, I can get them to uh, flower and to produce fruit. So, um, today is already October 17th, 2016. The, uh, these are the Kiwano Melon Runs, the round version. I don't think I'll get these guys to fruit. Uh, this is my strawberry guava, the best producer uh, by far this year was uh, this guy. Um, did actually better than the other guavas, but best producer in the last three years. Oh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this uh, blood orange. Not much is going on. Uh, this garden bed is pretty much done. Hey, no, go get it. Hey. Don't eat my moringa. No, no. Hey. He likes it. Ah, hold on. Hey. Yeah, Trying to eat the moringa. Oh, this is my moringa. You see, puppy hairs in a chew mode. I was trying to eat it. This is the garden bed that has pretty much nothing left in here. Um, these are beans that I planted in the summer, and it's actually waking up. Uh, my avocado, I don't know if I killed it. This was a triple variety. Uh, even though it does survive, I won't get much out of it because it'll only be one variety. And again, more beans from my planted last, uh, this past summer. We went ahead and finally pruned the, uh, cut off the, uh, the guava. And over here, the garden bed, the kale is pretty much done. I've had this here for about three years, so Swiss chard, I'm not sorry, the Swiss chard. The same thing too with the purple tree collard, it looks like it's almost on its last leg for the year. And the sweet potato, sweet potatoes and the purple yams, I went ahead and uh, pulled them out from the dirt. You can see some milkweed, milkweed plants going on there. Uh, looks like someone did some pruning on the the garlic 
and I still got some sweet potatoes that uh, I left here to grow and it looks like an, uh, that purple uh, potatoes alive again my bay leaf has never failed me and look how awesome is this let me see if I can snap capture picture of it. Look how this uh, grasshopper is pretty camouflage. That's awesome. I wonder if they are like chameleons and adapting to the color. But he's pretty camouflage pretty well.